So let's solve this proportion. Anytime I have a fraction equal to a fraction, I can cross multiply. And when I cross multiply, I like to circle what I'm going to be multiplying together. Once you get really good at it, you don't have to do this. So I'm going to take 4 times x, so I have 4 times x equals 5 times x plus 8. Now I'm going to simplify. Well, 4 times x is just 4x. Now I'm going to take 5 times everything in the parentheses. So I have 5x plus 40, because 5 times 8 is 40. Now I want to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. Remember, I want to get the x's on the same side. So I end up with negative x equals 40. But I don't want to know what negative x is. I want to know what positive x is. So I'm going to divide by negative 1. And it turns out that the, my answer is x equals negative 40. Let's look at the next one. Once again, I'm going to solve this proportion. Since I have a fraction equal to a fraction, I'm just going to cross multiply. And once again, I'm going to circle what I'm going to be multiplying. So I'm going to take 5 times x minus 4, and that's going to equal 10 times 3. I'm going to distribute my 5. I'm going to simplify. So 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, and 10 times 3 is 30. So once again, I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to add 20 to both sides. Okay, so I end up with 5x equals 50. Well, I don't want to know what 5x is, I just want to know what x is. So I need to divide both sides by 5. So it turns out that x equals 10.